How Climate Change Affects Adali and Chinstrap Penguins by Alexa Schwalke and Millie Endicott. Over the past 20 years on Beaufort Island in Antarctica, the population of chinstrap penguins has decreased by 36%, and the population of Adeli penguins has increased by 84%. These two types of penguins are dealing with dramatic population changes because of the ice melting due to global warming. Chinstrap penguins breed on ice floes, so without as much ice, they are having trouble breeding, so they are dying out. Ice floes are large floating chunks of ice that penguins breed on. On the other hand, Adelie penguins breed on dry land, so they are benefiting from the climate change as more of the ice around Beaufort Island melts, exposing more dry ground. The Adelie penguin breeding season begins in early spring and lasts through summer. They lay usually two eggs per nest, and the eggs take between 24 and 39 days to hatch. Now the Adelie breeding season is getting longer because snow does not fall until later in the year. Incubation lasts about 37 days, with the female taking responsibility for the first six days. The female tends the nest while the male swims out to sea to feed. After that, they switch on and off until the eggs hatch. These species of penguins are starting to change their diet. Normally they eat krill, which lives around ice floes. And since the ice floes are melting, the krill are disappearing as a food source of penguins. Both types of penguins have eaten krill for a long time, but they are now forced to try other things, such as fish and other crustaceans. Adelie penguins are benefiting because along with krill, they also love to eat silverfish. This helps them because the other predator of the silverfish, which is the Antarctica toothfish, is dying out, leaving more food for the Adelies. Scientists just recently discovered this information by using old and recent satellite pictures and graphs of the numbers of penguins, amount of snowpack and ice, and the climate change. Just by looking at pictures, scientists could find out that the breeding pairs of Adelie penguins have increased from 34,000 to 65,000 over the past 50 years. They also found out that the population in chinstrap penguins has decreased by 36% in the last 20 years. Scientists also found that on Buford Island, where these types of penguins live, that the temperature increased by 3 degrees Celsius over 50 years. Finally, scientists found out that Antarctica has lost 100 cubic kilometers of ice every year for the past 50 years. This means that Antarctica has about 5,000 cubic kilometers less ice than it had 50 years ago. At this rate, within the next several hundred years, perhaps all of the Antarctic ice will have disappeared. This also means that in a few hundred years, most Antarctic species will be extinct. However, some like the Adelie penguins will thrive because global warming has helped them. We hope that people will slow down global warming so that the Adelie penguins and chinstrap penguins can both survive. The, the end! end.